So that's why in the reboots, they actually skip over the origin and we meet him after he's already discovered his powers. Superhero origins. Fascinating stuff. Yeah, well, I got a real origin story for you. This is the origin of the Intimidator. My dad obviously grew up watching his dad compete, so he knew how to fix and race cars from a really young age. In fact, the rumor is in 63, he secretly drove his dad's car in a race. Nearly one, they say. He's only 12 years old. So my granddad was a little on the fence about letting dad race, especially after dad quit high school. But he knew he wasn't gonna be able to fight it for long. And eventually, dad got the race. Him and Ralph actually met once and competed. And this was at Metrolina Motor Speedway, 1972. They were running the race for the V8 division, but they included some of the smaller V6 cars to fill out the field. So Dad's car ended up on the same track as Ralph Earnhardt's top-of-the-line Chevelle. Dad was driving out of his mind this day. Usually he ran mid-pack, maybe a top three car, but for whatever reason on this day, the car was fast and he was moving through the field, even running with some of the sportsman cars. But eventually, Ralph caught him and he's right behind him. Granddad was one of the fastest drivers on the track and he's racing one of the fastest cars. When my dad saw him coming up from behind, he went wide to let Ralph go by. He was just doing the courteous thing, trying to let his old man race his race. But something strange happened. Granddaddy didn't pass him. He went wide too. And then, bam, he hits dad from behind. So now dad's looking behind him. He's trying to figure out what's happening and bam, his dad hits him again. My dad's fuming. He's sweating, he's nervous, confused. He moves toward the infield, trying to think maybe that Ralph wants the outside, but Ralph just follows him and bam! One more time in the back. And I think dad starts to realize that this isn't gonna end. Ralph's trying to teach him something. You don't move over for anybody, even your own flesh and blood. So dad took off and granddaddy followed him. There was no way my dad's V6 could hold him off forever, but he was gonna make Ralph work for it. <laughs> That's exactly what Ralph wanted. My grandfather gets by dad and eventually goes on and, and wins the race, but he had pushed dad so far and by so many cars that dad's little V6 motor finished in the top 10, even beating some of the more powerful V8 sportsman cars that day. So that was the only time that dad and Ralph ever raced each other, but it might've been the most important race of dad's entire career. He learned something on the racetrack that day that affected his driving forever. You race your race, you give 110%, and you don't move for anybody. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.